Hey superstars, let's talk a little bit about the common mistakes that coaches and consultants make. Now, let's talk about these mistakes that you making and I definitely made in the beginning. See, there are people who are watching you because if you're doing the things that you're supposed to do, you're marketing your business, you're putting yourself out there, people are watching you. But there's these three little mistakes that you're making that is like cutting off from getting you money. So let's talk about them real quick. All right, so number one, one of the things that you are missing is that you're making it really hard for people to do business with you. Maybe somewhere on your website, there's a buy button, but the person has to dig all the way down to your, um, down to the bottom of your website to find the buy button. Or what if you don't even take credit cards or you don't have PayPal, a PayPal button. See, when you don't give a lot of options for people to buy from you, then they won't buy from you. So put a button there, look into finding other options for people to pay you. Maybe you only take invoices and you send people invoices for them to pay you. Well, that's a long process, but because somebody like me might want to just buy, not wait. So you want to have some other options like a buy button that takes credit cards, okay? Or allows me to go into my PayPal account to pay you. So don't make it hard for people to give you money. Don't, because that's one of the mistakes that we are making that would just keep us broke. And I don't want that for you, not at all, okay? So let's talk about mistake number two. Mistake number two, and I did this definitely when I first started because I just wanted to do business with the big dogs. But what we are missing is we're like, we're leaving money on the table. And when you're leaving money on the table, you're not considering everyone through the process. And what do I mean by that? You want to have some kind of service or product that talks to the newbie. Everybody is not going to be at your level. Okay, and you probably don't want that because if they were at your level, they wouldn't really need you, would they? <laughs> they wouldn't. So you want to have products and services that talks to the beginner or the newbie. And that necessarily doesn't require that it takes your one-on-one -on -one time, but maybe you just have uh, products or courses out there that talks to that new person who's just starting off. Like maybe products that start off with, you know, how to build your list for the beginner, okay? Or how to, you know, get your first client when you started your new coaching business. Something like that. So don't forget the newbies now because once you win over the newbies, then they become your big clients, right? So they are, your newbies are going to test you out. They are going to, you know, they want to go on a date with you and they want to date you for like, you know, a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Um, and so you want to give them an option to date you by giving them products and services for the newbie. Again, everyone is not going to be at the same level as you when you first start. Okay. And so you want to bring along the people so that they eventually would say, you know what? This girl knows her stuff. So we have got to buy more of her stuff or we've got to hire her for, for our consulting business or to consult with us or to, to coach me one-on-one. -on -one. So think about your newbies. Don't leave them out because they got money too and they are looking for help. So that was mistake number two. Now let's go to mistake number three. Mistake number three is I feel like Corporate America has brainwashed us to feel like we can't have fun in our job. So one of the mistakes that I think coaches and uh, consultants make when they first start off is that they have no personality. They have none. They don't laugh. They don't smile. They don't joke in when they're when they're marketing because everything is so professional, right? And because corporate America taught us that. Matter of fact, some of us are wearing a suit and tie, okay? Like, gosh, you wouldn't catch me dead, dead in that anymore, okay? But you got to put some personality into your brand, into your coaching and consulting brand. Even if it's color, 
if it's your personality, if it's your southern accent like mine, you know, yeah. <laughs> crack myself up <laughs> but anyway guys put some personality in what you're doing because that's going to make people want to do business with you feel like you're relatable and friendly always put on the happy smile right <laughs> all right so those are the three common mistakes that i see coaches and consultants making now for those of you who are ready to jump start and create your first coaching program, I do have a freebie for you. You can go to alicemichelle.com forward slash CP planner because that CP stands for course program planner. So if you, if you are ready to take that leap and develop your coaching program, definitely hop over to that um, and download that freebie. Again, it's at alicemichelle.com forward slash CP planner, because it's going to be your course program planner that you're going to love. All right, guys, you have an awesome and blessed day. And if I don't, before I forget, <laughs> I need for you to go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube video. All right, you guys have a great day. Peace out.